Good evening and welcome to Ukrainian Magazine. Welcome once again to a new year of Ukrainian community broadcasting. On behalf of Tamara and myself, we want to thank you for last year's support and once again invite you to support us this year. For Ukrainian Magazine is the only Ukrainian broadcasting uh, done here in western New York. And we invite you to call your friends and join and share with us some of the finest Ukrainian community and local entertainment. Dobry večer, Vasilio. Dobry večer, Tamara. I dobry večer, šanovni gledači. Vitajmo vas do ukrajinskog žurnala. Pršu čeru bažajmo vam štosljivoho i veselého 86. roku. Mi takož hoćemo podjakovati vsim vam, kotri pitrimovali nas v minulom roci, moralno i finansovo. I od jakih mi mali taki prijemni vidhoki pro našu rezvijanu programu. Pravda, Vasilju, što nam bolo duže prijemno podgotovljati ciju rezvijanu programu. Duže prijemno i veselo. I tak samo, as Tamara was saying, our Ukrainian Christmas program was quite a feature this past year, which we received many, many calls and letters. And again, we thank you for supporting us during that time. At this time, I'd like to uh, take a minute or so and uh, on behalf of Richard, our pro uh, director, and myself and m my family, and uh, on behalf of you viewers, we'd like to extend to Tamara our deepest sympathy for that Christmas showing. That day was a hard day for Tamara because that particular day her stepfather died and she came to the studios and spent a whole day with us knowing that in mind the sadness, the sorrow she had uh, and yet uh, went on with the Christmas showing. Uh, Tamara, our Thank you very much. sympathies go Thank to you and your family. And now we'd like to talk about what we're going to have on our program today and our plans for the future a little bit. That's correct, Tamara. We always try to show what's going on in the community locally. For instance, we had some uh, special guests coming in, uh, Mr. Oshaniewski and Aris Jena. We will have interviews with them here tonight. We also will have our special guest Mr. Uh, Alexin, who's the president of the UFA, and also our entertainment section, which will be the Bolava dancers and a few segments from the Ukrainian dance workshop at Verkhovena. This Bolava uh, dancing ensemble is really, really dynamite, Tamara. They were here last year in May uh, of 85 to perform for the Ukrainian radio program, our 50 year jubilee. And uh, in front of a uh, sellout crowd, uh, they were magnificent, and we have some highlights to share with you tonight about that entertainment. And in our future programs, we had a lot of good responses to our Ukrainian kitchen, and we will have Chef Miran again in the future, maybe in the next program, to show you how to do more of our Ukrainian culinary uh, feats. This program is made possible through the generous contributions and support of our sponsors. We want to thank you very much for coming forth this year. We also are asking others to come and step forward and donate to our Ukrainian magazine. We are fortunate in the community to have a, a Ukrainian-American uh, TV special, and we'd like to uh, keep it going with your help. Ми щиро дякуємо також усім нашим спонсорам, котрі протягом минулого року підтримували нас, і також всім жертводавцям, котрі свої щедрими пожертвами помогли цю програму продовжувати протягом декілька років. Але ми пригадуємо, що без вашої помочі і без помочі наших спонсорів ця програма не може далі продовжувати свою, своє існування. То ми закликаємо вас, будьте щедрими, допомагайте нам, щоб ми могли показати про нашу багатогранну культуру і історію всім нашим глядачам. Бо ця телевізійна станція має понад 100 тисяч глядачів. І хоч би ми осягнули 1% із них, то вже ми могли навчити декілька людей про нашу українську спадщину. То ми щиро просимо вас, поможіть нам продовжувати нашу працю. That's right, Tamara. And if everybody does step forward, we're going to continue on this year with the donor board, like we had last year, which incidentally, uh, we thanked, uh, again, we want to thank them for supporting us. And we're going to uh, scroll it on this year. We're going to have a donor board. And again, we ask you, uh, please support us. 
i tako spetremo i te naše nadači, prošle predvseme te naših sponsorij, po bez njih tako bi ne mogla niče od bez rupete. And Tamara, speaking of sponsors, we'd like to uh, show you a segment of support. Na vsi vaši specialni okazji zajdite do odenokljenje ukrajinskoj kramnici napitki v mistju Ročiste, vlasniki je koje je panjstvo Ljuba i Ljubomir Šmigli. V kramnici Ljuba Veka ve znajdite veliki weber riznomanjitnih napitkiv z dostupnimi cinami. Kramnica Ljuba Veka nahodi se pri 711 rezervenju Bivandekoj. Telefon 266-3523. A portion of Ukrainian magazine is brought to you by the Ukrainian Fraternal Association, one of the foremost fraternal organizations in the United States and Canada. It offers all types of insurance policies, gives college tuition assistance, helps Ukrainian churches, cultural and social organizations, maintains the vacation resort Verkhovena, and publishes the weekly Narodnya Volya and the English language magazine Forum. Za najkraščuju, somnimnoju i veseloju ukrajinskoju obsluhuju, prenapravi avt vsih verobil, zvrtajte do Pavla Prokopenka, vlasnika haranža Pulse Mobile Service, pred 1196 Portland Avenue, telefon 266-8053. Welcome back, and once again, we remind our viewers to support our sponsors. Because of them, this program is made possible. And right now, we'd like to introduce our next guest on Ukrainian Magazine. He is the president of the Ukrainian Fraternal Association, a insurance-based company uh, with branches throughout the United States and Canada. Mr. John Alexson, welcome to Ukrainian Magazine. Thank you. John, for the first question we'd like to ask you on Ukrainian Magazine, uh, it's a pleasure for us to have you, a uh, local Rochesterian, head up the presidency of the uh, Ukrainian Fraternal Association. Uh, its main headquarters is in, is in Scranton, and the question I'd like to ask you, how did you get involved with the Ukrainian Fraternal Association? Мені і направду дуже тяжко відповісти початки моєго заняття в братському союзі. Я в загальному дуже люблю людей і тим самим люблю громадську працю. Коли я приїхав до Америки, я мав багато можливостей працювати в громадській праці. Все ж таки, я вибрав Український Братський Союз, можливо тому, що мій стрийко Теодор Олексин був тодішнім секретарем відділу тут в Рочестері, і я зацікавився тим і перебрав від нього, і так постепенно йшов знизу до гори, аж до теперішньої позиції голови Союзу. А скільки років ви працюєте вже в Союзі? Я вже працюю приблизно 20 кілька років, але президентом я вже є 14 рік. Ми знаємо, що Український братський союз то є іншурансова компанія, братство. Які інші бенефіці є бути членом братського союзу? Крім забезпечення, Український братський союз має багато інших корисних діданок для своїх членів. Кожен молодий член, який йде до вищої школи, каледжу або університету, дістає стипендії від нас, шкільна допомога, якої ніколи не звертається. Крім того, ми маємо ще окремий фонд Івана Франка, з якого виплачуємо на різні ділянки студій і стипендії. Ми маємо також ще для, як бенефіт додатковий, ми поділяємо моргечі 
na dome neško procentovi. Mi pozičajamo ljudej hroši na ihnji na ihnje zabezpečenja, jake oni u nas maju. Krim toho, mi vedajemo forum, magazin v angliški movi, ali narodnu volju v ukrajinski movi. Mi napevno vsi znaji, še mi imamo takož oselju Vrhovina, na jaki mi ulaštojimo ščorično festivali. Imamo škole, ukrajinskih narodnih tančev, imamo sportovu školu, da djeti vivčajati rižnje rode sportu, takož imamo školu hre na banduri i bahato, bahato inših zanjajt na naši vrhovi. Od cjoho roku spomnila se Sinčajka Diriča, Bratsko sojuzu. Što vi predbačajate na majbutnje dla vašeho sojuzu? Pa, odnim slovom, ja bi mi vidpovesti, što Ja predbačaju svjetkunja stoljitja Vračkoj sojuzu. Ali što bi osjahnuti našu cilj svjetkuvanj stoljitja našeho sojuzu, to mi budemo musiti vši služiti bohato praći i to tjaškoji praći. Kompeticija i obstavene v naši ukrajinski hromadji ne sprijajuti ni naši praći, ni praći inših ukrajinskih organizacij. Ali ja ne maju sumnjivu, što mi preboremo u ti preškode i vejdemo pobjedno v naših namaganjah. Mi majemo tiki odnu turbotu, a to je brak učasti v naši praći, v sojuzovi praći, v našoj mlodji, mlodšoj generaciji. Nadišel je kras prijatljivi čas na te, što bi ča mladša generacija počela preberati vid nas od ti funkciji, jaki vekonijo naši urjadniki, a jaki gotovi i pobaženi iti teper na pensiju. Ja virju, što praču mladša generacija vekona je bahato krašče, a year ago, there was some rumors that the United, that the Ukrainian Fraternal Association and the Ukrainian National Association were to unite or merge. Can you comment on that? Yes, we we had many many meetings, and we have been very close to get together, but. On both sides, I wouldn't blame nobody. On one side, both sides, <coughs> there have been national officers and also uh, many, many members that disagree about the uses of that merge. They, their idea was to exist together, but work. To, uh, together on many, many uh, aspects of our uh, life, Ukrainian life in the United States. I think the marriage probably will come when younger generation take over both organizations. <laughs> and again, Tamara, just a, a, a simple comment in English that John mentioned in the Ukrainian interview that they uh, uh, produced a forum magazine, uh, the Nara mm Navolya -hmm. Ukrainian um, Weekly. We the forum is a very good magazine, and if anyone is interested, in, even if you're not a member of the Ukrainian Fraternal Association, you should subscribe to it. And we have the address up on the screen for you. And it's very reasonably priced, so please just write. Even if you're not Ukrainian, you might be interested in getting some information from this magazine. It is very good, and I always give a gift subscription to many of my young uh, friends. Uh, another, another comment, Tamara, is that uh, many of the dancing ensembles that we have been showing our viewers in the past two years have come from the Verkhovina Youth Festival held at Glen Spey, which is a... Um, Owned, which is owned by the Ukrainian Fraternal Association. And we're very grateful that uh, your association allows us to take footage uh, during this time. And we will have a uh, clipping tonight.
from one of the dance workshops, and I'm proud to say my son is participating in that dance workshop. He really had a good workout. Цього року ви також будете мати конвенцію у червні. Можете нам дещо про це сказати? Так, це буде 21-ша конвенція Українського братського союзу у половині червня 1986 року. І ми передбачаємо, що там можуть зайти багато змін, коли ходить про особовий склад нашого уряду. Всі наші урядники є межі в пенсійному віці, і вони хочуть відійти. Все ж таки, ми боїмося, що на тій конвенції не буде відповідних людей з молодшої генерації, щоб ви могли перебрати нашу організацію. Ми взагалі торбуємося заником громадського наставлення молодшої генерації. Коли нам їх треба було, тепер, коли вже треба їх, ми їх, можливо, не будемо мати. І тому оця наша конвенція може мати деякі несподіванки, коли нам буде бракувати молодих людей, щоб запомнили тих, які будуть відходити. Talking about the younger generation getting involved in the Bartolomeo Association, I think you have a little surprise for us tonight in regards to the younger members. Yes, we do. I do tonight. As you remember, the director of that show, Richard Svareda, he was very much <clears throat> involved in UFA activities since he was a child. He was local president of our youth organization, then he was national president of Ukrainian or, uh, youth organization, which is uh, by UFA. And he did marvelous job for uh, UFA and Ukrainian community. We are proud that even today he still works in Ukrainian uh, world. He works on that projects, movies, and shows. And we would like to honor him today by presenting him a little flag as for dedication to his Ukrainian work. Just kind of, let's hold it up Richard to the screen. Richard has some hidden talent some people don't even know about. Richard, our director and producer, congratulations on behalf of myself. And if we could, we'd have you come in front of the camera, but we Tomata. know you're busy. So congratulations. And John, you mentioned again youth. Um, how can some, uh, peop our, some of our viewers who are not members join the UFA today? Who can they see? Where can they call? That's the easiest way to do it. <laughs> and you could be only proud um, if <clears throat> anybody who would sign himself as a member or sign his children or grandchildren to our association. We have representatives here in uh, uh, Rochester, uh, Mr. Ivanchev in Credit Union. He is uh, most uh, uh, members gathering uh, right from Credit Union. Uh, we have other branch secretaries like Michael Kostyuk, Natalie Oleksin, my wife, uh, Fedir Fedorenko, and quite a few other uh, organ organizers yes. that uh, could be, uh, they could sign them as a members of UFA. Do you have to be Ukrainian? They have to be Ukrainian or married to yeah. the Ukrainian, any, any. Or by association religion. with, yes. yes. Right. Really. Once again, as our time rolls on, Tamara mentioned earlier that we're going to show you a clipping of the Verkhovina workshop, which is sponsored by the Ukrainian Fraternal Association. And uh, John, this, this year, do we have plans to encourage more of these workshops? Yes, we will improve our festival, our workshops. We build new um, barracks for uh, children, and we sponsor more and more uh, quality of uh, instructors to sports school, dance school, bandura players, and also a better uh, festival performers. And now the Hopak, the finale of the dance workshop. Thank you. 
My Tomato, your son dances just as well as you do. That's right. He's a good dancer, just like his mother. Fantastic. <laughs> um, the dance workshop performed the older group during the festival. 
And uh, could you tell us a little bit about the festival coming up this year? The festival will take place in about mid of July. And uh, the performers have not been uh, selected yet, but we have already in mind quite a few groups. And also on that festival, the dance workshop will perform and Bandura players, Bandura school, will also be performing. So if anybody wants to um, go to the festival, they should call in for their reservations or write uh, when? They should. They should in about April, March, mm -hmm. April, because our resort is closed right now. But uh, neighboring hotels, motels, they are open, they can already uh, reserve their rooms because later on they won't get it. John Alexson, we want to thank you very much for being with us here today on Ukrainian Magazine. We wish you the best of everything in this new year on reorganizing, organizing, and strengthening the Ukrainian Fraternal Association. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Українська кредитова спілка – це своєрідна і виїмкова фінансова установа, яка є зорганізована, проваджена і контрольована своїми членами, базою якою є братські союзи – Український народний союз та Український братський союз. Українська кредитова спілка завжди давала найкращі услуги і користі своїм членам, а тепер дає вищі дивіденди на ощадностях, та уділяє ріжні позички на вигідних умовах, яких надають інші фінансові установи. Тому садіть до Української кредитової спілки при 831 Джозеф Епню або дзвоніть на телефон 544-9518. Години урядування є вівторок, середа, четвер від 10 до 3 пополудні, п'ятниця від 2 до 8 і субота від 9.30 до 1. For your next vacation, try the Surf and Dunes in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, a true family resort. Spacious rooms overlook the ocean, two oceanfront pools, both heated and one enclosed to ensure year-round enjoyment. We also have an indoor whirlpool, free tennis and golf privileges. Set sail for the right place. Surf and Dunes Resort, 2201 South Ocean Boulevard, Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. For information, call toll-free 1-800-845-2109. The right place, Surf and Dunes. Ми щиро вітаємо нашого нового спонсора – Surf and Dunes Motel, власник якого є Юрій Крижанівський, наш бувший мешканець міста Рочестер. А його мама ще тут мешкає. Приємно вітати його. І ще один кілька вітання, що якщо ви плануєте свою вакансію і ви в Сауті Кіроліна арію, пожалуйста, зупинайте і візитайте наш новий спонсор – Surf and Dunes Motel Resort. Вітання вітаємо з Рочестер, Нью-Йорк, Юрій Крижанівський. And, and Tamara, our next guest on Ukrainian Magazine is a gentleman who is the uh, chairman of uh, Americans for Human Rights in Ukraine. He was here to give an award, and I believe you gave him an interview. Mr. Oshanyevsky was here at the end of December uh, to give the award to Arasiena, a former resident of Rochester also, who's an attorney in uh, Phoenix, Arizona now. And he also, Mr. Oshanyevsky also spoke about the Medvid case, the unfortunate case of the young Ukrainian sailor who uh, attempted to obtain freedom in the United States and was so forcibly returned back to the Soviet Union. Mr. Ochanivsky is a very active uh, member of the Ukrainian American community nationwide, and this is his second visit here. And I had the pleasure of interviewing him, and also later on uh, you'll see an interview with Oris Yena. Tonight we have with us a special guest, Mr. Olchanewski, who we interviewed last year in regards to the famine bill, uh, which has uh, passed Congress. And today Mr. Olchanewski is in Rochester talking about the Medvid case. Uh, welcome, Mr. Olchanewski, to Rochester for a second time. Thank you very much. Uh, could you tell me why do you think it's important to keep the Medvid case alive, and what do you hope to accomplish by it even since uh, Medvid has been returned back to the Soviet Union? Well, uh, it seems that we might not save him, uh, but we are hoping that through the pressures we can 
change the procedures of, uh, 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 of giving the asylum, political asylum to the defectors from these uh, communist countries. Uh, and uh, I feel that there are so many inconsistencies and there are so many unanswered questions that uh, the uh, panel of senators, as proposed by Senator Humphrey, should be uh, established to investigate Medvedev's case. Uh, I uh, wholeheartedly agree with uh, Congressman Bromfield after he talked, to, after he came from the White House and talked to high officials. He said that this case sinks to high heaven. Do you think that uh, Medvedev was a pawn in the pre-summit uh, maneuvering between Gorbachev and uh, Reagan? Well, it could be many other things. Uh, this was also a, a grain ship. It was uh, a ship that was buying grain from the United States. And as you recall, uh, s several months ago, the Soviets threatened that they will buy all the grain from Australia, uh, Argentina, and Canada. Uh, so naturally, uh, uh, it could have hurt the, um, uh, the trade, the grain trade between the United States and the Soviet Union, and the uh, United States farmers are in a bad shape uh, even with the sales of grain to the Soviet Union. So uh, naturally, uh, the, there, there was a consideration, and, and the summit also. Um, you were very active in helping pass the uh, famine, the study about the famine in Congress. Could you tell us a little bit now the status of the bill at the present time and what's going on? All right. Uh, there was a slight misunderstanding about the appropriation of the money, and the money was appropriated only for one year, uh, and the Commission wasn't even formed at that time yet. So we lost that money, but we recovered it again by the, uh, including the funding for Ukraine, Ukrainian uh, Famine Commission uh, funds in the uh, Appropriation Bill for Justice, State and Commerce Departments. Uh, so everything is okay, uh, the money is there, and it states that the, the funding will be available until expanded. And uh, uh, in January, uh, chairman Mika, who is the chairman of the Ukrainian Famine Commission, will call first meeting of the congressional commissioners. And then after that, there will be public commissioners appointed, and I'm hoping that the commission will start uh, uh, its work somewhere in February. What do you hope that the commission will achieve when it finishes its study? First of all, I believe that the United States uh, people, the, the United the, the, uh, uh, the Americans, they should know uh, all about the Soviet Union. Uh, and uh, in order to uh, develop a realistic approach, they should know the history of the Soviet Union. Uh, uh, the, uh, this uh, artificially created famine is not even considered a genocide because the Soviets were able to insert uh, uh, into the uh, Genocide Convention Wording that uh, if the genocide has a pol uh, is against the political opponents, then it's not the genocide. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Olszewski, and I hope to see you back in Rochester again soon. Thank you very much for inviting me here and uh, to be on your on your show. Thank you. Thank you. Next, we'd like to show you an interview that we had with Oris Yena, a lawyer, an attorney, uh, residing now in Phoenix, Arizona. Oris was formerly here in Rochester, New York, where he grew up in the local community, was a member of PLOS, and uh, very active in uh, Ukrainian uh, community and civic life. And it's proud to always go back to Mata and see how our children, our kids today, our professionals are getting involved in uh, Ukrainian-American activities. Мати інтерв'ю з Орестом Єйною, і також перед тим із паном Ольшаніським. Орест Єйна молода людина, яка дуже стала активна у праці для людських прав через справу Медвідя. І це показує, що наша молодь не забуває свої традиції і своє походження, і обстоює свої права. А тепер коротенький інтерв'ю з Орестом Єйною. 
August. Uh, recently, there was a big event for the Ukrainian-American community involving uh, the sailor Medvedev. Uh, could you tell us a little bit more about it? Well, basically, as uh, you're probably aware, the uh, Medvedev had jumped ship in New Orleans on October 24th uh, several times uh, in various different circumstances. Uh, he was then removed from the ship on October 28th and uh, given back to the Soviet ship on the 29th. Uh, I became personally involved on the 28th of October uh, in an effort to assist Mr. Medvedev in seeking political asylum. Why did you get involved in it? Uh, I think there's probably two main reasons. One, he was a Ukrainian, uh, and myself being Ukrainian, I felt I could be helpful to him, knowing the language, speaking it, and writing it. Uh, additionally, I felt uh, that it was an issue of human rights, and that was probably the foremost issue. Uh, it's not very often that somebody d jumps ship, uh, risks their life in the Mississippi River, and uh, then being brought back against his will uh, back to the Soviet ship. What specifically did you do in helping him? Uh, initially, the first contacts were with the State Department, where I advised uh, them in Washington as well as in New Orleans that I wished to represent Mr. Medved along with uh, some other attorneys in our community, uh, Julian Kulas in Chicago and Andriy Filipovich in Philadelphia. Uh, in addition to contacting State Department, uh, once we found out that he was being ba given back to the Soviets, uh, the Soviet ship, essentially, uh, several days later we began our uh, lawsuit in Philadelphia and in order to assist in the lawsuit we needed uh, an investigator, an attorney to go to New Orleans to obtain uh, affidavits or statements from witnesses who were familiar with the situation. That was basically my function in the uh, situation. In your opinion, uh, what can be done in the future to prevent such tragedies? At the present time, there is a resolution that's being proposed. It's uh, the Humphrey Dixon Resolution 267 before the Senate. And right after the holidays, uh, in the beginning part of January, we hope to be able to get that back on the agenda for Senate vote. I think what it's important for the Ukrainian community or anybody else that's interested in human rights to begin con contacting their senators throughout the country, uh, whatever communities they're in, and letting them know the significance of the resolution and how important it will be to not only uh, investigate the uh, Medvedev matter, but also for other political asylum request individuals. Uh, thank you very much, Arist. Welcome to the Ukrainian Civic Center. We hope you will join us on Friday evenings for dinner. Every Friday from 4 p.m. to 8 p.m. we are serving our delicious fish fries, plus famous Ukrainian specialties such as holopchi, pitohe, or try our UCC Kozak platter, homemade borscht, and clam chowder, plus your favorite beverages. We also have complete takeout service. Join us soon, the Ukrainian Civic Center Fish Fry, every Friday from 4 p.m. to 8 p.m., 831 Joseph Avenue. Власники похоронного заведення Павла Гериса щиро дякують усім родинам української громади міста Рочестер, котрим протягом 40 років вони сумлінно служили в годині смутку по втраті дорогої їм особи. Власники похоронного заведення запрошують всіх порівняти їхнє приміщення, щиру обслугу і ціни до других. У час потреби або за передвчасною порадою звертайтесь до українського погребника Павла Герес. Цього року проведіть свої вакації над Атлантійським океаном в Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, в мотелі Surf and Dunes, власником якого є Юрій Крижанівський. Мотель Surf and Dunes має дуже вигідні кімнати, два басейни, Whirlpool, Tennis і Golf. Тож завідайте до Surf and Dunes при 2201 South Ocean Boulevard, Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, або дзвоніть безплатно до них. За дальшими інформаціями – телефон 1-800-845-2109. Once again, a special reminder to support all of Ukrainian Magazine's sponsors. And uh, Tomato, right now we're coming up to a portion that is probably the most popular portion of Ukrainian Magazine, and that is the entertainment portion of our beautiful Ukrainian culture. And uh, as promised earlier, Ukrainian Magazine will feature the Bulava Entertainment uh, Cabaret uh, folk troop. Three young men who dance, sing, and four young oh, yeah, men, yeah. <laughs> I forgot one of them, who dance, sing, and really entertain their audience. And we saw them here when they were uh, performing in Rochester at the uh, fifth 
annual radio uh, benefit, and they really yeah. turned the audience to uh, right. <laughs> to have a good time. And the Tamara currently Bolava is uh, on U.S. tour, uh, is planning a European tour. Their cabaret act uh, has taken them to uh, Geneseo, New York, just last week, where they performed here at a college. Um, and we wish them lots of luck in their uh, world tour. And they're probably hope. one of the best Ukrainian-American uh, dance groups around. As I, think far as a from, cabaret. I think they're from Canada. They are from Toronto. Uh, and uh, at this time, we'd like you to sit back and enjoy Bulava. A teper urevok is vestupu Bulava. Throughout time, those men known as Kozaki, the Cossacks, were known as tremendous fighters, excellent horsemen, and as I'm sure many of you know, superb lovers. Uh, it was a dream of every young boy to one day grow up and become a Cossack. Cossack. Unfortunately, there were those young men who for some reason or another, never quite made it. Some, they were a little bit too slow. Others, not quite strong enough. And when it came time to be a lover, sometimes they fell a little short. This is a story about one of those boys who tried and tried and tried, but for some reason, never quite made it as a Kazakh. His name, poor, poor lad, was Yarema. They sent him right home. Problems. He failed Ukrainian. Singing. How many people here speak Ukrainian? How many people here sing in Ukrainian? Aha! Good, because we're going to ask you to help Yarema. I mean, don't you feel a little bit sorry for him? We're going to try the chorus. Those very important words are Otse ya, otse ya, otse, otse, ucha ka. Oh, they did well. Must you Ay, ay, ay. Otse ya, otse ya, otse, otse, ucha ka. Otse ya, otse ya, otse, otse, ucha ka. Aha! Your turn. Now everybody together. I think Yarem is finally getting it. One more time. Yarema was a young man now, but still, 
his problems followed him. His father thought for sure, if he married a nice Ukrainian girl, everything would be fine. Uh, he searched far and wide, even came to Rochester. Finally, he found her. Beautiful, long dark hair, lovely eyes. She could cook, ah, everything he desired. He's made good use of that. They finally got married. She was a little bit reluctant, however. I think they called it a shotgun wedding. But fortunately, they got the gun away from her just in time. Ay, ay, ay.
тільки що забачили виступ цікавого ансамблю «Булава», який, ми казали перед тим, будуть і туру мати по цілій Європі, і також в Австралії. А тепер з нами є наш спеціальний гість, що ви ніколи не бачите, перед апаратом, а він є завжди за нашим апаратом. Це є Ричард Свирида, наш продюсер, директор, і також він є основноположник українського журналу. It's a great pleasure at this time, Tamara, to introduce to us our director of Ukrainian magazine, uh, who many of you do not see on the other end, working diligently and dedicatedly as Richard has, and we're going to have him share with you a couple of his thoughts about Ukrainian magazine. Welcome, Richard. Thank you, Bill. Tamara, uh, I wanted to take an opportunity, like you said, I don't get the chance to come on this end of the set all the time, always on the other side. and. Uh, Actually, they say director. I do a lot for the program, but these two people make it. Uh, when it comes to writing the scripts, getting the people all together, what they did with the Ukrainian uh, Christmas show this past year, and getting every choir in Rochester together to sing, these are the people that did it. And the uh, Ukrainian community should be very proud of what they're doing. Uh, together as a team, we're working real well, and we're having a good time doing this. And, uh, That's why we're so happy. <laughs> right, and it's, it's been fun. and. Uh, what we've got to do, and then today, in today's program, I couldn't come off the camera because I was filming before, but it was uh, a surprise to me tonight, too, when Jan presented me with the plaque for uh, my service to the Ukrainian community, which uh, I will continue, you know, provided I have your support. Well, we were and pleased to award it to you. So I thank John Laxon and the Ukrainian community for that, and the Ukrainian Fraternal Association. Uh, but one of the main things that, that I wanted to come on and talk about tonight was that the support that we've got to have. Uh, each month you're seeing a program. Bill was out with me when we did the Ukrainian show and saw what it's like to put the Christmas show together. And uh, people don't realize that, you know, we're talking how many hours have we put into that? 17, uh, 18 hours just to edit. Just, and just then a, one you know, program, Richard. And 20 or 30 hours that we put into it getting it ready. And again, everything that you people mm -hmm. did to get it together. Uh, but oh. we need the support of those people out there. Uh, we have our sponsors, a couple new sponsors. If there are any sponsors out there, we please write to us. Uh, we'll come out, put something together for you, so we can keep this on the program, on the show every month. Uh, individual donors, uh, like Bill mentioned earlier and Tamara mentioned, we are going to run uh, a, a donor board each month, and that will grow. Hopefully, that each month that board will get longer and longer, so that come uh, the end of 1986, yeah. we, we could have almost an hour of just donors because without them, uh, we're not going to be That's able to continue. Right. Uh, Richard, you mentioned donors and the donor board for the individuals. Uh, is Ukrainian Magazine a nonprofit organization? That's one thing that we have done and, and gone through now recently. We had, a, we had a meeting between ourselves and Ukrainian Magazine now, which is actually Ukrainian Cultural Media Incorporated, producers of Ukrainian Magazine, is a nonprofit organization. We have filed for all the necessary papers with the state of New York and the federal government so that we are non-profit. So you send us a $20 bill, next year you take that as a deduction on your tax return. And enjoy the culture and then of the... We've got it, and, uh, and, and we're, we're doing it. And we're enthusiastically also right. trying to expand our program. Now it's going to be all every right. month, uh, every month. Right, every month uh, we're going to be going right through the summer, and one of the newest things, uh, just this past couple of weeks ago, Bill and I met with Leon Sosnowski, who is the producer of the Auburn radio program. He's been on the air 17 years. Uh, he came down, took a look at the program, and uh, I think he was excited. Very impressed. And, and uh, it looks like that, I don't know about the program we're doing right now, but I would say probably the March program we will be airing in Syracuse and in Auburn. And, so it's, and uh, I think we have to also say that we are probably the only Ukrainian uh, TV program in the United States that's, that's on right. continuously Other than the show month. in Toronto, uh, mm -hmm. we're it. So. Uh, and it's, it's been a pleasure support, to do it. Right. It's with your support. Enough of that. Let me turn it back over to you and say, uh, what have we got uh, coming up? Well, we got thank a you for bulletin? being on here. We don't yes, see you sure. too much, yeah. and, and the people and don't see you, you too much. thank you for your work. Okay. okay. Community bulletin board. St. Joseph Arts Ukrainian Catholic School will hold open house for the general public on Sunday, March 2nd from 12.30 to 3 p.m. In addition to a full kindergarten, St. Joseph Arts will also operate a preschool program from three to four-year-olds beginning in 86-87. Sessions will be three mornings per week, Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Registration for 86-87 school year will be taken at the open house March 2nd and also from 9 to 3 p.m. on March 3rd to 7th. Other information may be obtained by calling the school office at 
800-800-8700. And also on March 2nd, the Ukrainian Credit Union will hold its annual meeting at the Ukrainian Civic Center, 831 Joseph Avenue at 2.30 p.m. And all members are cordially invited. During the meeting, before the meeting, there will be a small program by the Yashan Plus Dance Ensemble. So all members are invited, are welcome to attend. Vasil? Yes, we'd like to uh, remind you to join us February 23rd, the sequence again, the last Sunday of the month from 7 to 8 p.m. here on Cable 2 and 35 in Webster and Rochester area for Ukrainian Magazine. Our next month's show will feature highlights from the Ukrainian debutante ball, Chervona Kalina. We also have a segment with His Excellency Bishop Basil Lawson. Uh, the Bishop of the Stanford Diocese, and also we'd like to show you some highlights of the Ukrainian Independence Day comm commemorative that was held January 22nd. And uh, also, Tomato, we'd like to thank the... Uh, Before we thank anybody, we will also have our special chef, like I said, Miron. I like the way he cooks. <laughs> and uh, he'll, he'll surprise right. everyone again. <laughs> we had a lot of response to, to that last Holopsy segment. That's right. That made everybody a professional. That's right. <laughs> anyway, closing our show tonight, we'd like to thank Greater Rochester Cable, especially Stephanie Gradinger and Tom Schmidt for all the help you've given us this past year and for all the help you'll give us this year. Okay, but there some of our viewers said that in Webster they were having problems uh, with their audio and their pictures. So if you do have please call the station. I'll be more than glad to tell you what the problem is. And I think they also probably fixed uh, their uh, problems for Webster. And Tamara, on behalf of ourselves, uh, <coughs> Richard, uh, we want to wish you a good night and also remind you to stay tuned for the Ukrainian radio program hour uh, preceding this program. Following this program from 8 to 9. Mishtero diatim usim vam, što bi provele cijeho denu z namo, i zaprošimo vas bote z nama znovu 23. lutoho i kožnoho mjeseca u sadnu nedjelju. Štero djakim še raz za vašu pitremku i postojno pitremojte nas u majpotnimu. Božajim vam super na Dobranić. Dobranić. I good night. Good night. Moja tirke sam ko daru nog melo i tvoj vespek priča rivni zvi. Moja djevčino i ko svite duši moji, moje kohanja jak vešnevi cvi. Moja te pesam ko daru nog melo i tvoj vespek priča rivni zvi. Moja djevčino i ko svite duši moji, moje kohanja jak vešnevi.